Hey guys, it's Cone from Amtails, and I built me a custom scooter from Lucky um, LuckyProScooters.com. And so what I'm what I'm I'm just gonna be showing you the parts I have on the scooter. And yeah, but if y'all guys are already scooter riders and y'all know about Lucky, y'all most likely be able to describe the parts better than me. But um, so what I'm running on here is the Lucky grips. I don't know what they call them. Just lucky grips. Then T bars, Tanner Fox signature wheel, the lucky Huracan fork, and then I'm running a double clamp, the prospect deck, and then a silver flex brake. What's the normal grip tape that this scooter came with? Okay, I have another pair of grip tape. It's just I didn't put it on the scooter. Oh yeah, and the wheel size I'm running is 110. And I got a unicorn sticker on here because I'm lit. Yeah, totally lit. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is showing y'all if that is dot, if it's dot, like... Alright, I've had this for scared for a week. But what I'm going to be doing is, um... Telling y'all the things I like about the scooter and don't like about the scooter. Let's get started. To be honest, I really don't have any complaints about the scooter. The only complaint I have is it's about like the headset or whatever it's called, and it's not like completely straight to like like straight straight, like where you can see the logo when you're riding. It's kind of sideways, but it doesn't really. I mean, like that's literally the only thing that like makes me kind of irritated. But to be honest, I really don't care. And then so things that I really like about the scooter. It's surprisingly light, and when I went to a skate park yesterday, I jumped up, and there's like this ramp. There's like this ramp that I used to not be able to jump, or that I can't jump all the way, but now I can almost jump the whole ramp, which is pretty cool. This is really light, and um, I don't know why I like this, but I can take the brake off. This is fascinating to me, and. Uh, I was watching some reviews on the T Fox wheels, and I noticed something. If you're not really careful with them, they will split open or something somehow. And I just want to be careful about that. And then I'm not good at scooter reviews. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you like that it's dialed, and you get the point. All right, I'm not gonna tell you the price of the scooter. But if you want to know the price of it, all you got to do is just go to um, LuckyProScooters.com and then get, um, get all the parts that I got on it and then you'll know the price of it. Anyway, so we're going to do a dial test or see if it's dialed or not. So, to me, it's pretty dialed. I don't know what an actual dial scooter sounds like. So, guys. Yeah, that was good. Scrape inside of the deck on the floor. And I, I like the bottom of the, the, the scooter. Oh, I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, it's a prospect deck. Anyways, so uh, that's my scooter. And if we get five likes on this video, I always ask for five. We never, on a rare occasion, we get five likes. If we ever get, if we get five likes on the scooter, I'll do like a skate park video of it which I'll probably end up doing even if we don't get five likes but still like that you got in video and yeah I'll see y'all in the next video this has been coming from Antos and bye